Put that right there. All right, can you focus? Can you focus? <laughs> There's the links, the information. It's my card, but I'm throwing there. Hi, Andy. Nice to thank you. Thank you for joining me. This is my first scope of the day. Um, tap there. There we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning. For those of you coming in, if you're watching the replay, because so people might jump on the replay, please make sure you tap the screen for hearts continuously, because I'm getting close to 200,000. I want to make it happen. And I love you being here. So thanks for joining me. If you're here for the first time, please tap in yes in the comments so I can see you and find out who you are. Live from Bristol. Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing it earlier so I can catch the folks in England and Europe who watch my scopes regularly too. So thank you for coming in. Come on down. Please tap the screen for hearts. And if you're not yet following me, please do. <coughs> I do a... Hi. <coughs> Excuse me. I do do a, um, a love relationship periscope every day. This is my one for today, Saturday. Thanks for joining me and coming in. Um, if you're here for the first time, please swipe right on the phone, down on the droid, and tap on follow. Um, invite followers on Facebook and Twitter, and definitely watch my scopes. So, let's get to the topic. San Marco Beach? You're local. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? I can see who that is. I'm San Marco Beach. You're local. <laughs> Jackie. Okay, someone local. I'm in, I'm in Santa Monica now. I'm actually in the basement in Santa Monica College for KCW Pledge Drive, which I love to do. And I'm taking a break right now to do the periscope before I go back in for the next shift. Um, for those of you who don't know, KCRW.com is a local LA-based public radio station. And we're in the middle of the pledge drive, which I love to do twice a year, my, my volunteer time, I love to serve and have fun. So, um, enough people here, I think, get started on this. And thanks for following me. And if you're watching the replay, thanks for tapping the screen for hearts. And if you're watching live, please tap hearts as well. So, it's all the West Coasters, this is cool. Nice, yeah, toasty today, isn't it, in L.A.? God, it's like as bad as yesterday. Anyway, sticking to the story and the focus here. This is uh, my love periscope, uh, love relationship one that I do first in the day. I will do other ones during the day, but this is my first one today, which is the love scope. And this topic came up in the conversation. Before I get to that, let me tell you who I am and why I am passionate about this subject. My name is Barry Selby, as you can tell by my uh, periscope handle and the Prim Journal social media stuff. I am a passionate devotee to supporting people in their healthy relationships, primarily working with women to own their feminine gifts, their power, and own their, and love their hearts. No, I don't talk about sex. If you wish to do that, you can go to another scope. Um, it does come up in the conversation, but it's not purely about that. It's about love, connection, heartfelt response. I'm known as the heartbreak repair specialist because I'm passionate about women, particularly healing their hearts. So they can attract amazing relationships. I'm also, yeah, well, if you want that, you want to go somewhere else, so you're out. Um, yeah, I just basically don't follow these people, so, okay, they're out. Anyway, back to topic, please. Stay on track. The comment, the post came up this morning, Cindy, you know, nice to have you here, um, is about don't settle. And I'm going to talk about this because I was talking to someone, good to see you here, I was talking to a friend of mine just a few minutes ago, in fact, that gave me the, um, the context for this. What she said to me, let's start with that. And again, you can find out all about my work on my website, which is barryselby.com. I'm a number one best-selling author. That was the book title I posted on the front. I'll show you again. It's on my business card because I have a book with me because I'm at the Pledge Drive. That's my book. Can you see that focus there? That's the book. It's on Amazon. You go to that link to get to my website to see the link. It's a physical book. Um, it's on Amazon. as a physical book, Kindle book, and an e-book on my website. So back to the topic. Don't settle in relationship, and I mean this particularly because it's love and relationships. I was talking to somebody this morning about this, <clears throat> and she said that she was really fed up with everybody telling her she should get into a relationship and settle for what she can get. And thankfully, she knows better, and she's saying never. And the sense that people tend to choose relationship as a compromise, and this is what she said, it's like, I have too much I do in my life that I can't have a relationship with somebody who won't honor that and match that. And people seem to think that a lot of people out there, particularly watching, I'm sure, have felt that they had to give up something to have a relationship. Like you have to pay a price to have a relationship. Then maybe you have to give up your travel freedoms or your personal lifestyle to have a healthy relationship. I disagree vehemently about that. I'm passionate about the conversation. I've talked about this. If you watch my scopes from about two weeks ago, I talked about the, the codependent to interdependent format in relationships, the healthier um, evolution of relationships. And I also talk about the lonely versus alone format. Because these are paradigm shifts for people about love and relationships. In this context, and I'm passionate about this piece for you to have, your relationship, if you want a healthy relationship, and of course if you want it, if you don't want it, don't care, it doesn't matter. If you want a healthy relationship, you must be clear what you want, 
and be clear who you are. So any relationship you have is adding to what you already have, not replacing something you think you can't have. There is no price to pay. I repeat this, there's no price to pay to have a healthy relationship if you do it the way you meant to, which is honor your heart. If you've got some convoluted belief structures and things that may get in the way of a relationship, that's another story. But for most people out there, what they want is to have true love and amazing healthy relationship. And my focus is helping you have that in a very healthy, constructive, and honorable way. So that what you get as to who you are and honors who you are, where you are now, where you want to go. So if you decide you want to jet off to Europe for, from LA, say for example, for the weekend, your partner, instead of going, I can't do that, either says they'll go with you or they'll take care of the kids whilst you go. So it's done in a place that is service. Because you then have the freedom to do what you want in your relationships, no matter what that is, as long as it's honorable choices. So if you want to post any questions, by the way, feel free. This is a, this is a starting point, but I'm not attached to a particular pathway of teaching. I'm quite willing to answer your questions along the way. So please, if you have any, type in your questions. Hi, good to have you here. And please tap on the screen for hearts as well. If you're feeling this is evoking something, stirring something, or it's talking to you. So, sorry, I'm in, I'm in, by the way, I'm in the hallway at the radio station, so people keep going by me, so I'm waving at people as they go by, because they're looking kind of strange. I'm sitting with a phone on my lap, talking to you. Meanwhile, people are going, what's he doing over there with his phone? <laughs> so any questions, any thoughts, as before I go further about this conversation about not settling, about having what you want in a relationship, about how do you get that, or anything about those questions, please type away any questions you have. And again, please feel free, feel free to tap the screen for hearts and share as well. Um... Because this is kind of an, I had a starting point, and I've got to really stay what I want to say. And I want to get to mechanics yet. So what's, what's the goals in there? The goals in where? Can you explain what you mean by that? Because I didn't catch what you meant. What are the goals in where? Do I have a camel? Okay, that's not really relevant. If you're trying to just make some strange stuff up, um, we'll pass on that. Any other questions? Anything any relevant to the topic? Let's put it that way. If you're not being relevant, I'm not going to bother responding. If you're relevant to the questions about the topic, I appreciate it. If you're not, then that's fine too. Anyone else? Any other questions? Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate that. Anyone else? Any questions, thoughts about this topic? Well, let me ask you this question. If you're someone who has settled in the past for your relationships, how to do to have sex? Okay. This is going to be a theme that I'm getting rid of today. Not part of the conversation here. Um, if you're watching this Periscope on replay, I apologize for the interruptions of the trolls and I'm blocking them as they go. If you're here and you're in a live conversation, please answer any questions you have about relationship and romance, particularly in the areas of settling if you have in the past, or if you want to know how to not settle in the future, and what sort of things you're dealing with, I'll feel to answer that one. Yeah, it is definitely a block party today. Any words of advice for aspiring artists moving to LA to get a foot in the music industry? Actually, I'm not in that area myself. Yes, I am at the radio station, but basically I have network. That's why I don't have any connections to help you with that directly. Um, get yourself to play in bars and, and that sort of place and get to meet people. Networking is the best way to do it. That's, that's the best advice I can give and I'm not in the industry so I may not know as much as other, pe as other people. All right? So any questions relevant to the topic in hand? <laughs> About love and relationship, particularly and particularly in the area of settling or not settling or how to stay true to your heart and get what you want because that's what I help you get. This is, this, is, this is a quick scope, it looks like, because there's not so many comments coming through, which is fine. Um, and it's Saturday, Saturday morning here in L.A., but it's probably Saturday afternoon evening in England for my usual followers, and they're busy getting ready to go out for the evening. Any calls, questions, posts, comments, anything? How do you deal with men who don't know how to compromise? Well, I said relationship before, yes. For a minute. So if you are with a man, okay, when you express a need they can't meet, they just walk out. Well, see, that's them settling. That's them when they're not. They're not honoring. Okay, the difference between settling and honoring. If you have something you need and deserve and you're aligned with and they won't honor it, that's a different story than settling. If they're not going to compromise, that's a good thing if it's healthy. Again, this is all about healthy relationships. If they're being bullish about stuff and they're being egomaniacal about something, that's not what I mean healthy. If they're heartfelt heart 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 dreams they won't give up, that's beautiful. And if they won't settle for anything less than that, they will find a relationship that will honor them. That's true for men and women. It's not just about men. So to answer that question two ways, it's really the honoring thing. If they won't honor you in your wishes because they are too stuck up in their ways or, or averse to helping, that's, that's a dysfunctional piece. And you probably want to find a better relationship, to be brutally frank. 
Any other thoughts, questions? Did but did I help you by the way? I have to wait, I know I have to wait like 25, 30 seconds till someone responds. And if you're there, by the way, see, please tap on the screen for hearts so I know you're still there and watching and getting some value, I trust, from this. It's a, it's a smaller scope than I expected, but that's okay. Any thoughts, questions, comments? Are you still there? <laughs> just seems like these excuses of being busy to avoid compromising. Yeah, well, if that's what you're dealing with, you need to choose a better partner. Oh, sorry, you deserve a better partner. Be clear about that. Right. Yeah, do compromise in, in your relationship and it wasn't healthy. Exactly. And that's the thing I'm talking about here. So many of my clients and friends have made that decision to settle for less than they deserve and because they were unwilling to be alone. And that's key. Good morning, Ian. Good afternoon, Ian. Nice to have you here. So my point about that is very clear that you must stay true to what you value over just trying to find someone to be comfortable with. They respond to both of you. So any other question? That was, the, again, I hope that answers your question. Yes, okay. So any other questions or thoughts along the way? Any more hearts, any more people joining? I appreciate you coming in. Talking about settling, and the, and the point about this is, probably not many United, interesting. Um, is there a proper way? Or is there a proper way of what? Well, to ask them for, oh. Is there a proper way to ask them for what you need? 